So it turns out over in Yemen, there was a siege at the U.S. Embassy by Islamic militants from the Houthi movement. And unexplained why I believe this was likely some kind of Jesuit Illuminati PSYOP. Uh, this was likely a Jesuit Illuminati PSYOP because it was meant to push for more wars in the Middle East. The wars in the Middle East served the cause of the Jesuit ran Illuminati because it causes hordes of Islamic migrants to flood into historically white European countries and essentially make way for the New World Order because amalgamation, miscegenation, integration, all that paves the way for the Jesuit ran Illuminati Antichrist New World Order. Plain and simple. That's why I believe this was some kind of Jesuit Illuminati PSYOP. We're going to read the article uh, from the whole thing. Uh, let me just pull up the article real quick. I archived it on uh, archive.org, but this is from the Daily, uh, the Daily uh, Mail UK. Iran ba back Houthi uh, rebels stormed U.S. embassy in Yemen and seized at least 25 Yemeni staff hostages and filed State Department demands release of staff. Now. First of all, who are these Houthi militants? Well, they are Islamic militants from Yemen who are backed by the Iranian government and they are essentially fighting against the Saudi Arabians and, and um, basically they're Islamic militants, they're Shiites as well, they follow the Shiite sect of Islam and they are, they were on the US list of terrorist groups but they were taken off the list under Biden. But just a little, just a brief little background of who these Houthi militants are. They're basically Islamic militants, and they are a political movement too. So just a, quick, just a few quick facts about them, but let's get back to the article. So uh, it says, the U.S. Embassy compound in Yemen has been overrun by Iran-backed Houthi rebels who also took at least 25 Yemeni employees there hostage, the State Department confirmed on Thursday. Biden administration officials are demanding the insurgents release all the staff they took prisoner there, as well as the equipment they took, and that they vacate the, pr the property immediately. Quote, we are concerned that the Yemeni, Yemeni staff of the U.S. Embassy in uh, Sanana continue to be detained without explanation, and we call for their immediate release. The United States has been, has been unceasing in its diplomatic efforts to secure their release, a State Department spokesperson told the DailyMail.com. So, again... Uh, what's this going to be for? Well, they're going to use this. I believe that a lot of the warmongers, the neoconservatives, are going to try to use this to push for more wars in the Middle East to serve, again, the Jesuit ran Illuminati's agenda of, fl of flooding Europe with Islamic migrants. The officials said the majority of them have already been set free, but the Houthis continue to detain additional Yemeni employees of the embassy. We are also concerned about the breach of the compound that has been used by our embassy prior to our sus suspension of operations in 2015. We call on the Houthis to immediately vacate it and return all siege property, they said. Now they're negotiating with them now, but again, I believe there's going to be calls for wars again in the Middle East. You know, just with just a theory, okay? Because that's how the Illuminati operates. They need constant wars in the Middle East so the Pope can flood Europe with Islamic migrants. And that's what this kind of stuff will be has been used for in the past. Like, just like how 9-11 was used for that in the past. You know? 9-11 was essentially a Jesuit psyop to push for more uh, wars in the Middle East. That's all it was. Middle Eastern outfits have uh, first reported the three Yemeni nationals linked to the U.S. Embassy were taken from one of the, taken from their homes in Santa on November 5th, according to a translation from the Middle East Media Research Institute. Two, three weeks prior, three weeks, sorry, three weeks prior, 22 people who primarily worked st uh, the security staff guarding the embassy grounds were also kidnapped, and that's a picture of the embassy right there. And there's a picture of some of the Houthi militants, but that is. Uh, on Wednesday, Houthi rebels took large quantities of equipment and, equipment and materials from the embassy, uh, memorized translation of the independent Yemeni uh, reports claim. So, the bottom line is, is that this event will be used, I believe, it will be fully believed it will be used, to push for more wars in the Middle East, to uh, eventually get more Islamic migrants flooding Europe. Also, so this constant war machine, this constant Illuminati war machine can keep being funded and keep going, 
because they use these false Illuminati false flags like this. You know, they use an Illuminati false flag to get into the Vietnam War. They use an Illuminati false flag to get into Afghanistan. They use an Illuminati false flag to get into Iraq. So I believe this will be used again for as an Illuminati false flag to push for more wars in the Middle East, plain and simple. Because that's how the Illuminati operates. They operate on false flags. That's one of the ways the Jesuits and the Illuminati operate. The Jesuit ran Illuminati, I'll say it that way. They need this kind of stuff as a false flag to, to stir up their war machine the military industrial complex which is totally Illuminati Jesuit controlled so I just wanted to point that out so don't be deceived by all this propaganda uh, don't be deceived by all this it is likely just a Jesuit psyop with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren goodbye Thank you.